Hi, and welcome to today's world. I'm standing in the middle of a representation of today's business landscape, incorporating large global organizations to smaller national businesses. We believe that all organizations today can be divided into two types, those that were born in the digital age and those that are in the process of being reborn digital. This one is born digital. See what happens when I take a swing at it. Its core is digital, so it can adapt, respond, and withstand. The big five digital companies have collectively created $1 trillion of incremental value in the past decade, and their business models are now impacting and influencing every industry sector. For businesses to survive and thrive, they must be agile and flexible, be able to scale up and down at will, be able to predictively understand what their customers want, and engage with them through whatever means their customers desire. The impact of the digital age is being felt around the world. Amazon was born digital, and today it is one of the fastest growing companies in its sector. Barnes & Noble, the bricks and mortar giant, is trying hard to be reborn digital. Netflix was born digital, and it is growing exponentially. Blockbuster didn't move fast enough into the digital era. And Kodak, a global household brand name, couldn't take the right digital steps on time, nor did it correctly understand who its real competitors were. Today, the need of the moment is to be reborn digital. But how can an organization be reborn digital? At HCL, our answer to that question is DSI, Digital Systems Integration. Digital Systems Integration has three main stages. The first is application landscape transformation, where an organization's legacy applications are modernized and made cloud, integration, and future ready. The second stage is data fabric transformation, where the sum total of an organization's legacy and dynamic data, both internal and external, structured and unstructured, is channeled into a single data grid. The third stage is digital transformation, by implementing emerging technologies such as multi-channel mobility, business intelligence and predictive analytics, big data, and other disruptive technologies. The digitally transformed organization is able to experiment, innovate, and offer new services with new business models. And for a digitally reborn organization, the sky is the limit.